Land Rover and Toyota, in the interests of South African off-road racing, are proud to present highlights from the recent Queen Motor Space Settlers 400 in the Eastern Cape. The Settlers 400 run just outside Port Elizabeth was the second round of the South African off-road sprint series. The event catered for both motorcycles and cars, with tight championship situations in the 200, 250 and 500 classes in the motorcycle section. As was to be expected, the motorcycle category turned into a benefit for superstar Alfie Cox. The diminutive Springbok from Natal has totally dominated South African motorcycle, off-road and enduro racing in recent years and is to lead a South African team to compete in the international six-day trials in the United States later this year. Fresh from a win in the Castrol Winterberg Enduro, the Nuggety Cox mounted on the Castrol Pro Action KTM took the overall win and with it the 250 class. Second overall went to Yuri Human on the Lesotho Office Equipment Kawasaki and with it the spoils in the 500 class. Flamboyant Willy Island on the SKF Delmas Diesel Suzuki edged out Henny Human on the Lesotho Office Equipment Kawasaki for third place and second in the 250 category. Another Lesotho office equipment rider, Graham McLaughlin, took the 200 class by finishing a creditable fifth overall, with Richard Manning second in the category on a Winston Yamaha. Cox took charge of the event on the second of three 130-kilometer laps, and his winning margin at the finish was a whopping seven minutes. Once again, Cox underlined his immense talent, and there's no stopping him in South Africa. In the special vehicle category, the Chepek father and son team went into the Settlers 400 with a slender three-point lead over Niels Eriksson and Johnny Walker, with Richard Carolyn a further eight points adrift. Early leaders, Linton Draper and Pete Smith in the Thundering Isuzu, were chased in the opening stages by Draper's son Craig and Robin Houghton in the Draper Plant Hire Porsche Race Co. Both crews were later to run into mechanical problems, which forced them to retire in what was not a happy event for the Draper family. Also among the frontrunners in the early stages were Nardis Alberts and Peter Matea in the Raxo Raceco. A myriad of problems forced Alberts and Matea to drop way down the field, but there was a solid performance from Wade Perrins and Charles Van Royen in the Lolette Sandmaster that was to see them eventually claim fourth place overall. Busy siding their way through the field were the Sulwald brothers, Herman and Carl Heinz in the Sulwald for Food Sandmaster, with local boys Greg Harvey and Anthony Jacobs hot on their heels. Another family combination saw the ever-aggressive Klaus Degener partnered by brother Gert in the BP race code. Just to show that off-road racers like to keep it in the family, Niels Eriksson was partnered by daughter Carla in the Chenoweth. There was also a solid top 10 performance from Joe Finch and Essie Bezaitnode in a Chenoweth Sandmaster. The pair slipped into 6th place behind Nick Harper and Richard Hill in another race coat, but by the second of three laps, the Sulwad brothers had matters well under control. On their way to their first national championship win, the Sulwalds were chased home by Franz Chepek Sr. and Junior, who found the going a little rocky at times. With a set of brothers in first place and a father and son combination second, the Degener brothers made it a real family outing by coming home third in the BP race code. Wade Perrins and Charles Van Royen came in fourth, ahead of Nick Harper and Richard Hill, with Joe Finch and Essie Esterhays in sixth. The production vehicle category saw AAD Land Rover crew Cliff Barker and Mike Redden take a huge championship lead into the settlers. A determined effort is being made to build up manufacturer participation in the production vehicle championship, with AA Motorsport Off-Road Commission President Richard Leake optimistic about the future. Well, as can be seen from the entry, such as in today's race, uh, one can see that uh, there is a certain amount of manufacturer involvement in the production vehicle category in off-road racing. We have uh, Toyota in with uh, three vehicles, we have Land Rover stroke AAD in with uh, two vehicles, we have the Nissan Sony uh, from Maritzburg, 
and that, that gives us some flavor to um, manufacturer involvement. Of course, the platform uh, that is available for any manufacturer in off-road racing uh, that has um, a type of commercial vehicle, a button as we know it, um, is totally open. And with the three manufacturers we have now involved, uh, let's hope that uh, we can have a couple more um, in the country because the platform is there, the TV is there, and uh, the racing is becoming closer and closer. A tremendous rivalry has developed in the production vehicle class, with the major contenders for championship honours, the Barker Red and Land Rover, and a trio of Toyota Hilux and Land Cruiser entries manned by highly experienced crews. The route for the Settlers 400 produced a combination of tough conditions, all designed to test man and machinery to the limit. Race cam action is from the Barker Redden Land Rover, with the pair determined to establish an early superiority over the rest of the field. The Land Rover was being chased by the dealer team Toyota Hilux, driven by Springbok R.P. Reinecke, with wife Thelma alongside him in the absence of regular navigator Lucas Dreyer. Ralph Henderson and Garth Ziermann were going along steadily in the PRS Ford Cortina. But a second dealer team Toyota entry, the Hilux in the hands of Springboks Cassie Kutsi and Richard Leek, developed an early misfire. The settlers also saw the return to action after 10 years of South African motorsport legends Paddy Driver and Franz Boschoff. The former South African champions were out in the AAD Video Sport Range Rover, and while they went on their merry way, the event was over for Springbok Books Carolyn and Jeff Bell in the turbocharged Toyota Hilux. The usual frenetic activity was again the order of the day at fuel and service stops. Topping up with fuel and running repairs to vehicles are the norm, but the AAD Land Rover team was running into tyre problems. A series of punctures forced Barker and Redden to purloin extra wheels from a service vehicle. With the Carolyn, Bell, Toyota Hilux out of the running and could see a leak battling with an engine misfire, Barker and Redden had moved into the lead in the production vehicle category. The pair were ahead of the Henderson Ziermann Ford Cortina and the Toyota Land Cruiser driven by the Reinekers. Punctures were also proving to be a major problem for the Toyota pair. The search for spare wheels was becoming something of a habit for teams, but Thelma Renica was happy she hadn't managed to get the pair lost out on the route. We had a few clips on our paper wheels, but we had to go to the route. The Renica Toyota was later to drop out when stud sheared on the rear right wheel, but they weren't the only ones with tyre problems. Driver and Boschoff were also rapidly running out of spare tyres for the Video Sport Range Rover. We asked Franz Boschoff to explain the difference between navigating in a rally and an off-road event. That's what I don't understand. The basics are exactly the same, you know, because you, you tr you're following a route and finding a route. Um, for me, the big difference is that uh, this just goes on for you know, four, three, four hundred kilometers, whereas in a, in a normal rally you have a special stage of five, ten k's and then you stop and talk and if you're feeling a bit uncomfortable and your helmet's not on properly, you can wait until the end of the stage. Despite their tyre problems, Barker and Redden took complete control of the production vehicle category on lap two. A second sprint series victory puts them in a powerful position in the championship. There was also a spirited recovery from Cassie Kutsi and Richard Leake in the dealer team Toyota Hilux. Once they found the cure for the earlier engine misfire, they swarmed through the field to move ahead of Ralph Henderson and Jaap Ziermann, who drove a steady race to come home third. There was also a steady performance from Kurbus Fisser and Armand Kutsier in a privately entered Toyota Hilux. They came home a creditable fourth, but the day belonged to Parker and Redden, who took a tight hold on the Sprint Series Championship. Highlights of the Queen Motor Spare Settlers 400 were proudly presented in the interests of South African off-road racing by Land Rover and Toyota.